everybody. Today I'm going to make a chicken fried rice. And I made, uh, excuse me, chicken yesterday and I cut three breasts uh, into tenders and we ate not a whole lot of it. There's quite a bit of chicken left. And what I did when I cooked that chicken was um, I mashed up Funyuns uh, real fine and then I uh, dipped the chicken in beaten up egg and then I rolled it in the Funyuns and then baked it uh, at 350, 20 minutes each side and it had a really good flavor. But now I'm gonna take that same chicken and I'm not gonna bother knocking off any of the bread and I think that will just give it extra flavor. And uh, it's, this is gonna be a simple fried rice and um, I'm going to marinate the chicken in uh, Asian sauce that I'm making up. So I will go ahead and, and bring you down to the stove and I have my burner on. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon, maybe a little more of olive oil in the pot. And then I'm gonna take this rice in this cup. This is about a cup, no matter what measuring utensil or vessel that you use, as long as you use two parts water and one part rice, you'll be okay. So I'm putting that in the uh, oil and I'm gonna brown it just a little bit. Like, you know, when you had um, rice roni and you made the vermicelli, how you would brown it, that's kind of, the same idea. It just gives the rice a little bit of a better flavor. And you don't need that doorknob. I thought I was putting this burner on, but naturally it was this burner. So I hope you can see okay. And there's a lot of noise outside. Uh, this should be about the last day of our deck getting worked on. And I'll show it to you later. It's nothing fancy. It's just, we had it made a little bigger and screen put around it so we could go out and sit and enjoy it uh, or enjoy the weather. So you wanna just keep letting this um, cook for just a few minutes till it starts to just barely start to get a little bit brown. And when you do that, you'll be ready to put your uh, water in and let it begin cooking. And what I do to cook it, and I usually have really good rice, is I go ahead and put the water in, stir it up, let it come back to, or let it come to a boil, and then put a lid on it and cut it down um, real low, about as low as you can go, and not turn it off. And let it go for about 18 minutes covered and usually you'll have very good, perfect, fluffy rice. If you're gonna make your rice without browning it first, just put your rice and your water in your pot at the same time. Cut your burner on and let, it, uh, let your rice water come to a boil and then turn it down real low, like I said, and cover it and let it go for about 18 minutes. And I have found really good success like that. So let me grab a lid. I 
I found these at uh, where I do a lot of my thrifting and I really enjoy the silicone lid. So if you ever have a chance to get yourself some, I think you would enjoy them. So the rice is ready to add the water and I just put two cups, wherever I put that cup, I put two cups worth of water in here. Now I'm gonna pour it in there and stir it up. It smells really good. It smells kind of nutty. Has a real good smell. I feel like it's worth the time you take to um, brown it. But anyway, I'm going to keep a watch on it. And when it gets, it starts to boil, then I'm going to put this on it. So now I'm going to make just a little uh, sauce to marinate my chicken in. Let me show you my chicken. This is what the chicken looks like I made last night with the um, onions. And I'm just gonna take it and cut it up in not real small pieces, but not big pieces either. Just uh, a size that would go good in fried rice. And I'm gonna pour the marinade on it that I made. And this is gonna sit for, well, once it gets done, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator because it's uh, better to make fried rice with cold rice. So uh, let's go ahead with the marinade. And I wanted to get some hoisin sauce or duck sauce, but I went to all these, they didn't have any. They did have this Asian sesame dressing. Uh, for salad and I thought that it would be good um, in this marinade. Now this is starting to boil. So I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm gonna cut it down real low. So I'm going to add three fourths of a cup of this And I'm making quite a bit because I want there to be enough to, uh, if people want to put it on their rice, uh, that they can. I'm also going to add three-fourths of a cup of soy sauce. That is really bubbling. So there's three fourths of a cup of soy sauce. Um, soy sauce, unless you get the no sodium, has a lot of salt in it, so I'm not gonna add salt. But I am gonna add a good little pinch of pepper. Then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of ginger. And I'm going to stir that up. And I did get out the cornstarch in case I needed to thicken it up. But I don't believe I need to because that salad dressing is a little bit thick. And this to me is thick enough. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up the chicken and just pour this marinade over it. There's nothing really special about that. 
I'll show it to you when I go to cook it and I go to put everything together. But for now, once this rice gets cooked, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to get cold. I'm gonna cut up the chicken and put the marinade on it and stick it in the refrigerator. And later today, I will come back and make some chicken fried rice. And as usual, I forgot something. I wanted to add some brown sugar. So, I'm going to use this larger tablespoon and I'm going to put a very big heaping tablespoon, maybe just a little bit more and so now we're done and I'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, it's later in the day and we're going to put everything together and um, see what we think and this is a very simple um quick and good fried rice it's not one that you take a whole lot of time with and that's the way i like recipes so i will go ahead bring you down here here's our pan i'm going to put a little bit of olive oil little bit more and if I had sesame oil that would be what I would really like to have but I'm out of it then I'm gonna take this onion and I'm just dicing it up kind of small put it in and let it start sauteing a little bit. And what is your favorite fried rice? My husband loves shrimp fried rice and so does Kaylin. If I was choosing what kind I would get, it would probably be pork fried rice but um or maybe even just plain vegetable fried rice i should have had my pan heating but um now i can hear it starting to do a little bit i'm also going to go ahead and add a little butter to this it does give it a better flavor so i put about a little less than a tablespoonful and this is one of the aromas that i really love is onion and especially onion with garlic that is just so good to me. So to the um, onions, I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg. And get that scrambled up some. Have you ever wondered how egg got um, into fried rice? Why whoever invented it decided to put egg in it? 
it just seems like uh, a strange thing to put with rice and uh, vegetables and all. But it really is good. I'm going to cut the burner down a little. And now the next thing that I'm going to add is the vegetables. Usually uh, people use like the frozen mixed vegetables, but I'm just going to cheat and use a can that I've drained of the mixed vegetable medley. And so really everything here is cooked. I'm just trying to warm it all up together and blend the flavors. Now the next thing I'm gonna add is our meat and it's been marinating for several hours. And what I decided finally that I'm gonna do is I do not want to put all that marinade in there. So I'm just going to get up the chicken and kind of squeeze it a little bit and get off what marinade, the excess marinade that I can by squeezing the bag and put that on in the pan. And so as you see, we have quite a bit of the marinade left in the bag. I'm gonna turn it back up a little. And mix all this together. I was trying to think how you could really make this as simple on yourself as possible if you were in a hurry just to make a quick meal and didn't want to have to bother with cooking chicken and all that and i think you could even maybe use uh those mcnuggets or you know the nuggets that come from the fast food stores or uh, restaurants i think that might work Okay, now that's in, and we have our cold rice. So I'm going to kind of break it up as I put it in. Oh my goodness, did you see that? <laughs> A bunch of rice went flying everywhere. As you can see, cooking it the way I cook mine, it doesn't stick together pretty fluffy.
And so this is basically the final uh, product. It just needs to heat up real good. But it does smell real good. And I'm sure that it will taste good. I haven't ever tried that particular marinate before because I never used that dressing. But I feel like it will be good. And then you could just put a little soy sauce on your food and you'll be ready to eat. I'm going to let this heat for a couple more minutes and then I'll serve up a bowl. I'm going to have to sweep and get up all that rice I've got on the floor. Um, while we have a minute to talk here, if you're a Big Brother fan, well, I believe this I'm not sure if this is gonna go up in time or not, but anyway, if you're a Big Brother fan, they're having the triple eviction tonight, which will be exciting. But if you watched it last night, CBS kind of gave the house guests the heads up that there's gonna be a triple eviction. So that took some of the thrill of it, of seeing how they act when they find out that took some of that away. But it'll still be interesting. Um, it's gotta be more interesting than this season has been because this season has been so boring, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the burner off and serve up some. And this is it. As I said, put some soy sauce on it and I think you would be good to go. So that is it. It's my quick, simple fried rice. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful rest of the week and a wonderful weekend. Take care of yourselves, and I hopefully will see you soon. Bye-bye.